Traffic now, Jason, again, kind of a mix of conditions out there this morning. Yeah, it depends on where you're going. You're going to find wet road conditions. You're going to find some slush. You're going to find snow-covered roads. And we do have one accident on the freeways. As I'm trying to get the map moving, here we go. It's going to be the latest problem is eastbound I-70 out by Quebec on that eastbound side. It's going to be very slick, especially on the portion of I-70 that's uh, going to be elevated. It's this little section here by the Denver Coliseum National Western Complex. And we've seen a lot of problems with the bridges, ramps, and overpasses. So 225 right here at I-70, also down here around Parker Road, and then down at I-25. Those are going to be some slick areas to avoid. Take a look at the uh, CDOT camera here at I-70 and Colorado Boulevard. Even though it doesn't look bad, that bad, we are going to see some delays because of that accident out there by Quebec. We've had some slick conditions between downtown and the Denver Tech Center for us this morning. Here's a picture of that 225 and Parker Road area. And we've also had some side street crashes this morning, including one on uh, Sheridan at Quincy, another Arapaho and Parker Road. And then you can see all the way down at Fountain Parkway, how much snow we have down in Castle Rock. Dale Cedars is driving around in Storm Tracker 7, taking a look at some of those roads that's down there on that south side. We are heading north right now on the off ramp from I 25 on to 470. And as Jason's been mentioning, a lot of the ramps, this is one of the problems. Of course, they freeze up first and they continue to stay icy throughout the morning. As you can see, the snow really pretty much tapering off. A few flurries, but all in all, the road conditions, unfortunately, not very good in some locations. As you can see, as we're getting right here on this off-ramp, look at how much snow we are dealing with. Yes, the plows have been over it, but it's still tough in some locations. You can't really it's get through as you're trying to kind of change lanes. It definitely, you run across that crusty snow we've been talking about, and unfortunately, that's what is very slippery because your car wheels just can't really get a lot of grip onto the roadway. So as long as you take it slow, things aren't that bad. But we have seen several cars that have spun out, been on the side of the road, run off the road just because they're taking it too fast for the road conditions we're seeing right now. We'll continue to keep you out here in Storm Tracker 7 and check in with you throughout the morning.